Hi everyone, it's Eddie at Eddie Makes Art. Thank you for uh, joining me today. And this is another video in a series of um, junk journal ideas, ephemera making, uh, we've made a cover. And um, in the last video, we made this little folio, but it gets sewn into the signature. But we made it so out of the full uh, spread of the music sheet from a book. Um, and then we folded it up. I'll link that video in the description below. But today, what I wanna show you is how to make, I make my um, tall envelopes very easy, but it's a great way to use up, um, if you have a lot of that thinner scrapbook paper, it's a great way to use that up. Um, or this one I started, um, this is a digital that I got online, and I just saw birds, and I folded it so that I would get this in the center, because that's what I, I wanted to feature. And it's pretty easy. And we'll make a couple today. So what I thought, so you basically, you make a, you fold it in half and you fold it to the width that you want. And then you fold up about a half inch. If you want more, you could do more, but I think about a half inch is pretty good on the bottom. And then the inner part, you'll have that, you know, because when you fold this up, there's also the piece of paper that goes over this, the strip. That I cut off. And then I, I cut the edges at an angle so that it looks a little cleaner when it folds up. And then you have, I have uh, this lined up this way. Okay. And then here, what I did is I, I cut down into the sides here to give it a um, more of a better opening to get your stuff in. And then um, I took the, this was just a straight flap that I folded back. And what I did was Folded it like this and then just gave it a little shape. And you could do any sorts of shape that, you know, that would work on your envelope. Okay, so now on this one, I did not put a closure, um, but you can certainly, um, you know, make a closure. Uh, maybe we'll do one with um, a brad and a and a circle, um, you know, circle punch up. Um, I have other ones. I don't know what I did with them, but I have other ones where I did that. I may have already put them in a journal that I've sold. Um, so this pad of paper here, just got it on Amazon and, um, I've used a lot of it, but it's, it's not great for using as, as, um, Certain things, most things I want to do, and they're only one-sided, so it's kind of uh, a bummer in that way. But let's go ahead and grab this sheet, like this one. This is all the, the bits and pieces of other ones I've cut up. Is that the same one? Oh, you know what? This is already out. Okay. And then we'll set these to the side. Save your scrap. So we have this, it's a 12 by 12. And like, for example, this one, I don't know. Let's see, it's three inches wide and seven and a half inches tall. Um, this one is about four inches wide. It's almost three, three and three quarter inches wide and eight and a half inches tall. So this is like the full length of, of our signature. Um, so that would just go, you know, maybe, um, paper clip onto a page. Um, but there you go. Now, let me show you, um, what, how we can cut it up and, and make use of the full page. Put that out of my way. So what I'm thinking, and 
honestly, I am just thinking out loud, but I think if we cut this down, let me get rid of this. Well, I don't have to get rid of this edge, it's perforated. So we have a little bit more than 12. It's, she's got the dotted lines, but it's not perforated. So I'm just gonna keep it in there and we'll be part, it will be part of the design. Um, so what if we do six inches? Let's go ahead and cut this in half. We have these two. Now, it's 12 inches this way as well. But what I want to do is make, we could do a six inch envelope. So I'd want to use about, give ourselves about seven inches. All right. And then we can use the other portion and maybe make a mini envelope. We want to go this way and let's do seven. I, these are going to be tall, but I don't want them super tall. I mean, you can make them as tall as you want. Have at it. All right, so we have our six by seven piece. All right, so what you want to do and you want to fold it so that you get a little overlap and go there okay. and then bring this side over so that you have enough room to glue it down um but you don't you don't need a lot of overlap um, it can make it bulkier too so basically I'm giving myself about a quarter inch and then I'll just glue right along here and fold it down or I'd probably glue it on there and then fold it down. Okay, and now the bottom, we can bring it up about a half an inch, but we can bring it up less. I think on this, this shorter one, we're gonna bring it up less still going to be tall. Be about half of that. Right? Okay. And I'll take my bone folder and score it. I apologize if I'm, I'm all over the place with this, but you know, once I show you the steps, it's pretty easy to to do it and then adapt it to your you know, your own style or um, whatever project you might be working on. So we've got our bottom, and then let's see. We're just seven. You can bring this down, bring that to six. So that gives us about right there. To create the flap. And again, just going to score it. And then this comes down. So this is your basic construct. Come down. There we go. That's your basic construct. And what then you're gonna do is we don't want this. We don't want that one. So that's gonna come off. But what we wanna do is angle this just a little bit this way. And then on this edge, again, we're gonna angle it down. You could do, you could do this curved, you know, this, couple of different ways. I, I like to do the angle. Okay. So basically this is gonna match, has to match this side. Okay. So I 
think we can get these to line up. Yep. And then I'll we'll take our scissors. And then just cut these together. Come on, oh, this board needs to be replaced bad. Look at that, it's terrible. All right, so let's take a look. All right, so we got a space for, uh, uh, enough space for, you know, putting stuff in the envelope, and now we have our flap. I think on this one, I don't really need to do anything more. I mean, you could certainly uh, round the edges if you wanted to, but I think I'm gonna leave this one like that. This will be our front. Now let's take care of the bottom part. Again, on this bottom part, we don't want the paper that's on top here. We want the underside. So what we're gonna do is we're going to cut this at an angle. I'm gonna go in. This is the part that's gonna flip up and you're gonna glue it so it you have, um, you seal the bottom of your envelope. So we don't want that. And then we're gonna make an angle up here. Um, maybe not that drastic. Ooh, that's a terrible pencil, eraser. Maybe like that. We don't need much because if we cut it too high, we may not have enough of an edge, so I might do it just a little bit shorter or, you know, less, less angled, let's say. Okay, so this is the part, it's gonna flip up. So let's see if these are gonna line up. Is that give me enough? No, just make a little, we'll do a little less of an angle. And you're gonna to wanna to cut in, come in this way. Let's give ourselves a little angle. Okay, that should work. Because when you fold it in and then this folds up, there you go, you have enough to glue it down and not get um, stuck on here. So you wanna glue here and then this side and then fold that up. That makes sense. I think it makes sense. Um, on this side, let's go this way. So I'm gonna take this out at a slight angle. All right. I think we got it. Yeah, you see, brought it down a little bit more. And at this point, let's ink it. We have our, um, Ranger archival ink and coffee. And we can go, uh, on the outside, we'll do our edges. I hope everyone's doing well today. I meant to say that earlier. Um, but you know, I get distracted very, very easily. You know, put a shiny object in front of me and I'm, I'm gone. Okay, like I was working on some projects last night and I say projects because I would start one thing and then I'd think about something else. I'd go on to another project and, you know, very scatterbrained. All right, that's it's done. Get in here, get the edge on that. So, um, yeah, I hope these, uh, hope you like these. I find them very useful in junk journals. You can um, put all sorts of stuff in them. And the thinness of the paper allows you to stuff it and it won't, you know, create too much extra bulk in your, in your journal. And then since this side is gonna come down on the front, I'm gonna ink it just that side.
Good, yeah. I think we're good. Set you aside. I need a sip of coffee. And again, uh, we're just using glitter glue, mainly because the nozzle, it dries quickly um, and it dries clear, but the nozzle's got that micro tip that allows you to get a nicer, more accurate um, bead of glue down. And the first thing we wanna do, we're gonna glue this flat, but I wanna glue this one instead of the top of the other one, because this way, because we know we have a quarter inch to play with here, we'll know the glue went down on the right spot and everything is together. That's it for the center. And then here, I'm going to put a little bit of glue right along there. And the reason I don't put it on the flap is because this notch here, oops, if you glue on here, you're going to glue this part down and your stuff will get stuck. It won't go all the way down cleanly if you catch my drift. And that's it. There you have your tall pocket, tall envelope, rather. And with this guy, what can we do with this guy? We can just make a shorter one. Let's do that. More like a coin envelope. So here, make sure that paper is nice and straight and then we'll do fold this guy up a little bit give us some room to glue okay and then the bottom we'll fold up to let's see do the quarter inch again oops get there Up. So this will be a one, two, three, four inches, four and a half. Then you can certainly go lower, go down more, make a, a bigger flap. Why don't we do that? We'll go down an inch. I'll show you what that looks like. Ooh, crazy bone folder. Okay. So we have our basic construction again. And then let's go and fold this on the score line. Fold this down on the score line. And remember these, we don't want these corners, they're going away. But we want to bring this in at an angle. And then here, we also want to cut this at an angle. Uh, maybe a little bit more. And this will um, give us a nice opening to put stuff in. I, I'm terrible at drawing and sketching, so there you have it. wrong didn't I yep we're gonna go this way that's why I was having trouble I'm gonna go this way not that way do as I do not as I say flip that reverse it okay this one we're gonna angle inward and then we're gonna take a little bit off this way all right so we'll start here into that corner and then this is going to be at an angle so we can take this there and it could 
have done that better. But, you know, it's still going to work. I'm going to make it work. Okay, and then we're going to get rid of these. Just a slight angle. Okay, move our scraps out the way. Now, what I want to do with this this part here. Let's line that up. Okay, it's a little wonky, but we can come in. Let's can round it out. Let's go this way. And slowly turn the corner, and that gives you a nice rounded flap. I could even go a little further and cut that down a little more. Oh. It's not straight across, but that's okay. All right. And then uh, let's, let's ink it up. Let's do that first. That makes sense, right? Notice that's going to go on top. Okay, so we're going to ink here. Oh, the folds. I don't mind if I, you know, you get um, ink all over because it just adds to the, the aged look. And this particular um, print was um, kind of lacking that vintage -y, grungy look. So that's where your, your cool inks come in. Now you see how this is cut? I cut in too much here. That's my mistake, but you learn, you know? You learn as you go. Uh, did we ink the bottom here? Nope. Okay, and let's ink this side. See, this one I didn't cut enough, so I'm going to come back in and give it another, take another slice off there. I think we can use some on this side too. And this will come down. Um, I could also bring these in match what if we did that let's bring this in to match the flap There we go. Let's uh, re -inker. And now, see this, it's kind of a lot, but it's not going to bulk up the, the envelope because it's, it's pretty thin. But what I wanna do is I wanna make sure that it seals 
nicely here so that when you're putting stuff in, it doesn't get stuck. All right, so the bottom, we need to get rid of this. Easy peasy, pumpkin squeezy. This could use a little bit more of a trim. See, I'm always, when I work, um, and I'm not filming a video, I'm always, as I go, I tweak, I tweak, I tweak as, as I'm working, just to get it right to where I want it. Um, all right, let's glue it down. This is gonna go on the inside. So we're gonna glue, oops, take the pin out, Ed. There we go. Glue some here. And I don't mind that the lines are over here, just adds to the look. And don't worry, this glue dries clear. That's why I like to use it. The art glitter glue dries clear. And it's water-based, so it washes up uh, quite easily. All right, so we've got two. So you can make too big, too small out of your eight and a half by 11. Or, I'm sorry, 12 by 12. But what if we make Let's make a super tall one. 12 inches here. Let's go ahead. We're gonna fold this in. So I think I'm gonna focus on. Okay. I think this way we can fold it in about it's about an inch. Right, yep. Okay. Fold it up. this is going to come this way and we don't need a lot to overlap just about you know quarter inch okay there we go basic construction is coming along that's going to go there yes make sure space i think i do Right. Okay. And then this is going to be the top, obviously. Just I want to keep it in the right direction. And then the bottom, we could do. Let's do an inch. Can we do an inch? A little less. Okay. So bring it to there. And. Nicely cross. Actually, it could come up a little bit here. Okay. So, get a nice crease. Oh, oh, no, not like that, Eddie. Not like that. Oops. Sorry, I work on a glass uh, drafting table. So. I'm going to drop something. It, it sounds a lot louder than it, it really is. So I apologize for that. And then the top. We're going to bring the top down. So, so far, we are at... Uh, let's, let's go to the 11. We're at uh, 11 inch, about a quarter. Let's make it shorter. And we'll do it uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and 
and a half. Let's do the eight and a half. And there's my ruler. Here we go. What do we say? Eight and a half, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and a half. And just a little score. So it makes the folding easier. It doesn't. And you get a nice smoother edge. There's the score line. All right. And then let's cut the bottom. Light angle up. Right. And same thing over here, just a little, little angle, maybe a little bit more. And check that out. Perfect. Nice flap, and I like how it's got the two stamps under there. That's the Cool. Okay, and then we want to cut our angles out up here. And for this, we're gonna go get my tall scissors. There we go. Here. Mm, here we go. Um, and then up here. And then we're gonna check for 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 you know if if it's gonna create a bigger opening and uh, or a, a big enough opening. Uh, we can come down a little more. It doesn't work because my folds aren't even, um, because I wanted this, um, the compass to, to show on the front. So there's like, you know, there's different variations, you know, you can do depending on, you know, the paper, the position, where you want things to line up. But, you know, you get the basic idea of, of putting it together and then just um, adapt it to your needs. And you can certainly do this with heavier paper if you want, or if that's all you have, um, definitely. You don't have to do this with 12 by 12s. You could use um, pages out of a magazine. You could use uh, pages out of a book. Okay. Oh, look at that, it lines right up. That's wonderful, cool. That lines right up and then this I don't think we need such a, a long flappy flap so what if we uh, come on. I'm trying to get it to not fold but fold enough where I get the uh, these two corners together okay. do I have my pinky shears I think we do. Look at that. We can um, here. No, I think this way. You see, that gives us this cool opening or flap. But I do want to come in. Shorten that up a little bit, round it more. There we go. All right, very cool. Let's ink it up and then we'll glue it together. Ooh, we've got all kinds of scissors out here. And if you're wondering, this is a, a, door, um, a drawer pull. 
that I glued a, a foam pad onto and I used as a dauber. Uh, because they take up a lot less room and they do the same job as the other ones. And because they take up less room, I was able to make one for every color that I have, which is not that many. Um, but yeah, each one has its own um, dauber, which is a good thing. Okay, let's ink this guy all the way around. If you're enjoying this video, please let me know in the comments and, you know, like and subscribe. Those are the things that will help me make more videos for you. Okay, we're going to go this way. random ink going just to again give it the more aged worn um, look and let's ink at the front here I'm going quickly because I mean it's, it doesn't take a lot I think most of y'all watching probably know how to ink All right, now all we have to do is glue it down. And this is the part that's gonna be underneath. So I wanna glue the edge on this one. Right up the edge. Now see, this one is taller, and so I can glue here instead of up here. Like all off to the side here, and hopefully you're not missing everything that I'm doing. All right, that's glued, that's glued, and we have our flap. And there we have three size envelopes from one 12 by 12 sheet of scrap of paper. Um, and then you can go and decorate these and add some labels. Let's see, what do we have for this guy here? Let's do something fun. He says, give me some flowers. Oh, why not? these uh, Tim Holtz flowers. That brightens it up, makes it cool, right? Let's ink it up. I'm gonna use the Distress Ink uh, in Vintage Photo for this. Yeah. Why not? And go around just to dull down that white so it's not so pow in your face. And these are, um, you can hear, they're printed on a card. Um, so it's it's a little thicker, but because the paper we're using is so thin on the envelope that it's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. All right. So we got that. And then what else do we want on here? What else do I have? A little butterfly, maybe a little one. Can we do hmm. or maybe just a word? Give me just one second, I have to get my own up. A stamp words.
Okay. I had to dig around for a second, but I found it. So this is a bag, uh, oh, excuse me, of um, papers that I've uh, stamped on, whether it be, you see flowers, phrases, words, what have you. Um, and it's all done on um, little scraps of paper that I save. So for example, this is from, from a vintage book I cut up and um, the paper's really good and it takes the ink really, really well. And then this is paper from um, the inside cover of the book where when you open the book, you get maybe your title page and then a blank page. And, um, and these are a little heavier stock. So they make really, really nice um, um, stamping papers. And then I just stamp up a whole bunch, shove it in the bag, and um, I'm sure there's a better way to organize this, but this works for me. Um, so let's find a word or a phrase to go here. So you can see I do have a lot, but it comes in handy. They're ready to go. I'm happy when I'm with you. Don't forget to fly. Uh, sound too big. Dream. We could try that one. See, I even stamped uh, flowers, some uh, that looks like a parsley or a rosemary. But yeah, and even um, just tiny print. I think this was from a digital, but I saved the edge because this is a cool thing. You know, you can add something like that. Let's do that. Or do I have it on here? the same thing but it's different paper I think we'll use that one it's more aged looking um, today is full of possible there we go we're gonna use that one today is full of possible you see this is just um, this one is just caught plain copy paper the thin kind I had to you know cut it down whatever the, I was using it for and you, you know, you save these strips, and they're um, good for stamping. What I do is I'll sit in front of the TV and stamp stamp away all sorts of stuff, and then I have them ready to go. Let's see, like this one I did on avocado dyed paper. Stamped it. And so you got a nice paper. You get the stamp ready to go. And you don't have to cut them up. Cut them, you know, as you need them. So like this one, this is uh, wrapping paper I got um, in a box. Uh, this is shipping paper. Um, this is actually the same paper we made this journal cover out of. So you see, stamp a bunch, and then you can just cut it up and use as you need. Okay, so I think I got um, what I want to use. Uh, do I need that right now? So we'll set you aside. So let's cut a strip of this and we're gonna put it right along the edge here. Cut that down. And for this, I think it's a glue stick would be very appropriate. And I have a glue book. I know I had it. Where's my glue book? Is it behind me? It is not. It's halfway across the room. I have no idea why it got there, but there you have it. All right. And I'm using this is the Scotch. Create glue stick, a permanent, I really like. Hey, uh, honestly, I don't know if the, stri the script is upside down. It, it, it's like indescript script. So we're just gonna lay it down. And maybe with this, what's left on this dauber, I can come in, just gauge it a little bit. And we're going to do our word. And today is full of possible. 
And I'm just tearing it up, looks like that. And we'll ink the edges. And just go all the way around. And this book page paper um, that I was talking about earlier is takes ink really well. is full of possible and then just some flowers and I think that would be very very nice um, for the flower though because it's on a heavier card I'm going to use the glitter glue because otherwise it really it may not Stay down. And I just kind of go around the edges. Of course, I pick one with all sorts of little weird little edges, but again, the, that's why I like the glitter glue because with this little nozzle, it makes it pretty easy to go around and get your edges, however, you know, funky they are. And then there, and then we just go across here. I rearranged a bunch of stuff this morning and um, in, in my craft area. Um, so everything is not where I usually have it. I'm still working on it. Okay, I like that. I hope you enjoyed this today. We've got three pockets or envelopes. We have tall medium and we get the little baby there you go i hope you enjoyed this video um let me know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe i'll see you later